Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Claire. I've got my very first beauty advent calendar unboxing to share with you, and it is Cult Beauty. My Cult Beauty are doing something different this year. They're bringing out two different calendars. I filmed this unboxing a couple of weeks ago and I didn't have the information at hand then, but basically there's two versions. You've got the Curated With Love, which ships internationally, and the Sent With Love calendar has some shipping restrictions. There's only a very small handful of differences within the product. Products. So in the Curated with Love, you'll have the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. In the Scent with Love, you'll have the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance Mist. So inside you'll find 40 different products. I haven't had a look yet. I've refrained from having a look at the spoilers. Spoilers have gone up in the last couple of days. And I received this calendar yesterday and I haven't had a look. I'm dying to have a look inside. I wanted to film it raw. So then you get to see my reactions as we go through it together. So yeah, 40 products inside, 19 of which are full size. There's 20 25 doors it has a value of over 1100 pound and it's going to cost 235 pound plus when you purchase this advent calendar 10 pound will be credited to your account so you get that back to spend on whatever you want on the website it also comes with free next delivery it supports the respect project charity and also three of you lucky winners will get a chance to win 1000 pound credit to go into your account i'll pop all links down below in my description and you'll also see all my discount codes and offers to weather website so you're welcome to take a look down there if you want to so let's get on to opening this oh my god day number one man this is the great barrier reef it's from crave beauty it's supplement series it's a reparative skin soothing serum there's 45 mils here and this is something new for me you're supposed to use one to two pumps before moisturizer okay let's find out more information oh look at the packaging look between harsh products and environmental stresses, your skin barrier is busy fighting off the bad stuff. Q Great Barrier Reef. This creamy nourishing serum helps protect and support your skin's barriers so it can do its best work. It contains 10% tamaru oil. Tamaru, have I said that right? It doesn't sound right. Tamanu. Tamanu oil. Niacinamide and a blend of nourishing skin ingredients. There. I've got some cleansing gloss next to me, <laughs> ready to remove all skincare and makeup that I'll be testing out during this video. Okay, the smell. <laughs> it's not a nice smell, it's not a horrible smell, it's a natural smell. It almost smells like a bonfire. It's not strong at all. So it's a skin soothing serum with low skincare benefits. What's it saying? The sustainability spiel. There's lots of information in the box there. But yeah, it feels nice on my skin. The smell is a bit, <laughs> but it's not strong. It wouldn't put me off wearing it, not at all. So there's that, that's day number one. Day number two over here. Ah, oh, we got the sneak peek. And this is my summer Friday. And this is a lip butter balm, vanilla beige. And it's 15 grams there, it's full size. I think I've only ever tried the jet lag mask which is really lovely I haven't used it on a plane <laughs> I, I, I don't go far if I go on a plane it's literally only a couple of hours and that is it so I've never really bothered wearing like skincare on a plane before like a mask or something like that but actually like an overnight mask is really really nice so this is the first time trying this so this is vegan but it's a vanilla lip balm Ooh, all right oh my man oh my gosh that's just like i was thinking what's touching me is this it smells like cocoa butter that is so nice that is so so nice okay let's put a little bit there just to show you the color so it's not going to you know give a lot of pigment on your lips just like a hint of a tint really but it's going to nourish your lips as lip balms do and it smells absolutely amazing this silky 100% vegan lip balm conditions and soothes parched lips while providing a touch of sheer beige colour. That's lovely. That's so nice. Okay, so we all knew we were getting that. Day number three. Oh, I wanted to try this. It's by Glow Recipe and it is the Hue Drops. This is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide for ultimate glow and brightening. Now I've tried the normal serum, which is really nice, but this has got a bit of bronzer in it. So to give you a little bit of a glow, it says mini. What else can I tell you about it? It's 15 mils. Your favourite dew drops with a tinted twist. This multi-use brightening serum combines clinically effective skincare ingredients with a buildable bronzy finish. Nice and mad works to brighten dullness. Look at that. <laughs> 
Then you've got Centella Asiatica, which is tiger grass, and that is good for soothing, particularly great for sensitive skins, and especially if you have redness, like I do, rosacea, it's really good for that. Hyaluronic acid to hydrate. Ethically source light reflecting pigments, instantly enhance skin's natural tone, and add a glow and radiance without seeping into pores. Let's give it a go then. Look, 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 look. Oh, <laughs> I love these tinted serums and tinted moisturizers. I just love it. Gone are the days of wearing really dodgy foundations in darker shades. You don't need to. <laughs> you can mix these products into makeup, you can wear them on their own. Then yeah, you've got a little bit of a glow going on there. So it'd be nice as it is. Or you could literally put a few drops. I would <laughs> in a foundation as well. I'm really excited about this because I had seen this and I wanted it. So I'm rock one now. Day number four up here. We've got Paula's Choice. This is clinical 1% retinol treatment with peptides and vitamin C for all skin types. It targets deep wrinkles, reveals firmer looking skin. There's 30 mils here and I haven't tried this. I'm obsessed with the BHA liquid exfoliant. I've been using it for a couple of years. It is my top one. It is my top one. Paula's Choice also do really lovely SPF creams as well. But yeah, I haven't tried this one. Limit initial use to three times per week. Gradually increase frequency to each evening as tolerated. I love the fact that it's got vitamin C in there as well. I love the fact that all the items I've shown you so far are all new. <laughs> They're all new to me. Day number five up here. Oh, we've got a few things. Yeah, we have. We've got a duo. This is for your hair. Hair by Sam McKnight. These are little deluxe sizes. It's a cool girl cleanse cool girl nourish so we've got a shampoo and conditioner viewer here volumizing and the shampoo is 100 mils and conditioner 75 mils and again something new for me i could do some volumizing i have got fake hair so what you see is not real what you see on top is real and in amongst it but i've got taping extensions so i've got a lot of volume at the moment but my natural hair <laughs> is very um, flat and fine. It says thickens the hair whilst nourishing and adding soft body. The condition is fermented with rice water for shine and strength. Okay, let's have a sniff. I like to sniff things if you haven't already guessed. Oh, it's nice. Natural smell. I'm used to describing scents, by the way, but that's nice. It's not overpowering. It's very natural, but yeah. <laughs> nice and fresh. So I've got a shampoo and conditioner duo by Sam McKnight. Day number six down here. Oh, we got a few things again. Oh my gosh, okay. We've got three different products. Starting off with Ole Hendrickson, and this is from the Banana Bright range, which is really lovely. And this is a moisturizer. So this is a little mini and the seven mils of makeup prep and instant illumination formulated with gold complex vitamin C, niacinamide and a cloudberry oil. Ole Hendrickson do my favourite eye cream in the Banana Bright range as well. Oh, I just love it. Oh, look at this. This is really small. So good to try it or to take it away with you. But yeah, I've got combination skin, by the way. Just in case you're wondering, I've got... Um, polycystic ovary syndrome so naturally without any medication I'm a grease ball but I'm on a medication called spironolactone and that controls it so the skin is left combo a little bit of grease a little bit of dryness and it smells like oranges it smells citrusy then we've got Dr Dennis Gross and this is an Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel a painted two-step peel with five AHAs and BHAs there's a few in here helps smooth fine lines minimize the look of pores improve appearance of an even tone and texture achieve clinical results at home and there's three separate treatments there so you first exfoliate and then you neutralize then you can use them daily am or pm but if your skin isn't used to acids then it's recommended to um tail it down a bit <laughs> just do it a couple of times a week until your skin gets used to it and then we've got Laneige. Laneige is a korean beauty brand famous for their lips sleeping lip masks which are gorgeous i've got quite a few of them <laughs> this is a cream skin ceramitide it's a toner and moisturizer and we've got like a sample there they do a really lovely sleeping cream as well. We have had um, Laneige products in quite a few different beauty boxes. I haven't tried this though. 
a two-in-one hybrid that combines cream with liquid toner to provide rich intense hydration in an innovative lightweight texture there i'll just do a little bit apply it like a perfume there you're not gonna see anything i just want to be able to feel it yeah it feels nice it just feels like a nice serum so those are the three products in day number six. Day number seven, top here, we've got Psy. Now Cult Beauty did a Psy limited edition beauty box about a month or two ago. I did an unboxing, it's on my channel, and all the products were from Psy. If I'm pronouncing that right, I think I am. Psy, we'll say Psy. This is a glow sculpt. It's a multi-use cream highlighting blush in shade Mauve Glow. Now I had this in the box. I'm not sure if it's the same shade though. I'll have a look. So the one we had in the box is more like a goldy colour. So by going by the colour on here, I think it is a different colour, which is good. Yes, it is. Wow, that is so pretty. Look, got a mirror. Oh, that is so pretty. You've got dusky rose, but also like a bit coral. Let's try a bit. Yeah, look. Oh. I love that. That is really, really pretty. Can you see the difference in colour? So it's like a pinky salmony colour. But it's not shimmery shimmery. It's just really pretty. Let's blend it out a little bit. See how well it blends out. Look. Oh, I do really like that. I love creamy makeup products, especially the older I'm getting. It's more flattering on my skin, definitely. It says here, for a sculpted glow and luminous washer colour, apply to the cheeks and high points of your face. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily go full pelt on your um, temples unless you like the pink templed look. Why am I showing you the empty one? But no, <laughs> but for cheeks or even on your lips as well, like multi-purpose, I think that's pretty. Yeah. So no, happy with that. Happy I've got a different shade. We are on day number eight down here. Ooh, we got, oh, we got two things. We got a product from Dr. Levy, Switzerland, and this is Intense Stem Cell. It's an eye booster concentrate, and there's seven mils here. Swiss Clean Beauty, 100% vegan and cruelty free, and it just has the ingredients on the back there. Now, I haven't tried this before, so you don't know anything about it but I do love eye creams and serums and things like that Ooh. is it gonna work oh it's a proper it's a gel oh and it feels cold that is weird <laughs> it feels cold on my hand just a nice gel there can't tell you what it's like for my eyes and to go with it we've got an eye mask and this is by 111 skin harley street london it's a rose gold illuminating eye mask it's infused with antioxidant rich gold and rose damask extract for a lasting luminosity and a brighter eyed appearance so i like the fact that we've got two eye products in day number eight and i have tried these before and the full face one as well <laughs> the sheet mask for your face and yeah pricey pricey but they do work they do leave your skin looking amazing day number nine up here oh we've got two products oh they look like perfumes oh oh no they're not they're not perfumes so we have got here this is a spur stick a spur stick it's a mayor I've never heard of that, never heard of that. Am I like a weirdo that I haven't heard of this before? Made in Italy, it's a suede lip liner in shade Buck. Okay, nice design. I'm twisting, maybe it just needs more twisting. No. Oh, it's coming now. <laughs> Here you go, a little nib like that, see? And then let's try what it looks oh i've just broken it be careful just a little bit so it's very fine <laughs> so you're seeing it before me so what's that like it's too dark for me we've got a shine on lip jelly from tower 28 in shade oxox look oh that's so nice all right let's try blending all that together I'm sure it'll work if it's on your lips. A darker outer line, smudge it into your lips. So you've got more like a blurred effect to your lips and then top off with this lip gloss then and I have to smell it. Nope, no smell. Ignore my hand, that'll probably work together really nicely. <laughs> or not, it's completely up to you, isn't it? Day number 10 over here. 
but there's two items in here as well we've got pat mcgrath labs this is a perma precision liquid liner okay in black i guess in extreme black coffee oh okay a really dark brown i'll get it out I'll show that first i love that nib that is huge I'm all for a really long one because it makes doing winged eyeliners so much easier. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Yeah. I'll wash it all off afterwards. Look how pigmented that is. To me, that looks black. It's dark, chocolatey brown. Oh, that is so nice. Really, really nice. I like that we got brown as well. But if we are to get a liquid eyeliner, guaranteed it's going to be black. So to have a brown one yeah i'm all for that and then to go with it we've got a mascara and this is by huda beauty one coat wow again another product i haven't tried this is extra volumizing and lifting mascara just after one coat 98 percent saw instant curl and lifted lashes <gasps> that's what it looks like now these brushes are deceiving i used to see them and think oh that's instantly gonna be crap on my lashes they're not, not gonna work can you see but i have got really short straight sparse lashes they're they're not great lashes at all and mascaras are quite hard to find to suit my lashes these type of ones tend to be really great at getting right into the roots but yeah iconic london triple fret is brilliant benefit bad girl bang is really good as well yeah deceiving we'll see i haven't tried it so i'll definitely give it a go but yeah happy with day what were we day number 10 day number 11 at the top here i got something for your hair this is from color wow and this is money mist it's a luxe light leave-in conditioner for glossy expensive looking hair and there's 50 mils here ah it's again something new for me to try nutrient rich super hydrating leave-in for all hair types spray throughout clean damp hair comb to distribute evenly okay let's let's try a little bit on the ends yeah i want to sniff more than anything i'm not expecting like miracle whoa i've just come out of a salon look <laughs> oh it's a nice fine spray as well <gasps> smells really nice it smells beachy it smells like spf it feels nice on my hair it's not left it greasy or anything i'll just um hold on just scrunch that in I do like the smell. It does remind me of an SPF. It's a Lux Light Leave-In Spray. I like that. Day number 12. We've got Gizu. Is that how you say it? Gizu, Gizu, Gizu. I'm gonna say Gizu. And uh, this is a honey infused hair oil. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. And then, again, this is the first time I'm uh, trying this product. See, considering I'm a beauty YouTuber, I unbox limited editions subscription boxes loads of advent calendars and i'm so surprised that so far anyway what are we halfway through or coming up to halfway through and there's so many products if not all of them i haven't tried yet or i haven't received this is what excites me about advent calendars i love so far anyway i could be wrong <laughs> that cult beauty have actually gone and thought beyond beauty boxes and advent calendars and what we normally see this is so pretty it would make a really nice gift as well so i remember when this was launched a couple of years ago i watched a youtuber called alex chentomo i have done for years i love watching her and i think she was gifted this and she started using it and saying that it was amazing really really lovely so it's honey infused hair oil why am I putting it in my hand? I can actually put it on my hair, can't I? Oh, it's nice. I smell the honey. I'll try a little bit on my hair. Hair oil and me are a little bit... Ooh, only because my hair is really thin and fine. So oils tend to drag them down. Well, the ones I've tried anyway. It feels really nice in my hands. No, you might not be able to see anything. I only put a little bit on. That is lovely. And the smell is gorgeous as well. Yeah, it just says add one to three drops and rub it through your hair day number 13 down here oh we've got makeup both eye makeup one is from patrick tar and this is a major dimension precision gel eyeliner in black okay 
so we've got a liquid eyeliner in brown and now we've got a gel eyeliner in black and again i don't own this it's new <laughs> oh i love this i love this i have to be really careful because it's so small look at the nib oh i love that i think that's nice really really nice and then we've got my favorite eyeshadow palette person <laughs> this is natasha tenona this is the love palette i absolutely love the eyeshadow palettes i've got a few of them and i've got a few of these little mini ones i think we get like an extra two so there's like five or is it four it could be five in a row i love that color if you've got green eyes or hazel eyes like myself that color will go whoosh bring out your eyes that's so so pretty yeah look look how pigmented they are they just blend so well. I love watching her on Instagram as well, right up close. You get to see exactly how she applies eye makeup and I'm like, wow, oh, she's so good. But no, I 100% recommend her eyeshadows if you're looking for a nice, decent palette. Yeah, pricey, but definitely worth it. So no, happy with those. Day number 14 here, we've got Augustinus Bader. This was a popular one in advent calendars, luxury advent calendars. It is a luxury brand that we saw last year. And this is the Rich Cream. It contains TFC8, which is a patented ingredient, I believe. There's 15 mils here. This is a really nice cream. It also comes in light as well. As this advent calendar is for Christmas, it is for December. So thinking winter in mind, then having a more richer moisturizing cream you'd find it more beneficial especially like coming into January February time when it tends to get really cold and you, you know your skin changes all throughout the year in different seasons but no it's a really nice cream so that is what was that number 14 day number 15 oh what have we got <laughs> I know what they are I thought we got a teddy of some sort. No, the little wristbands and we got a cleanser. So the cleanser is by Elemis. This is the Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. There's 30 mils here. It's a really, really nice cleanser. It's a gel cleanser. Well, you know how to wash your face. <laughs> you just uh, massage it in until your face is all nice and foamed up and then you rinse it off. Yeah, Elemis is such a great brand and that is a really nice cleanser. And I love the smell as well. I think this is the first smelliest perfumed product that we've seen so far in the calendar. And to go with it is Cult Beauty's own products. Now we saw a few of these in last year's advent calendar. I think we had a mirror. Did we have a silk pillowcase? Or am I thinking of a different advent calendar? I might be. Um, we saw a few like Cult Beauty's own exclusive products. And yeah, I don't know how many are in here. As I said, I don't know any information about the products except for the spoilers that we all know. And yeah, we got these. There's fluff coming off them, like anything. Can you see it all fly in? Look, the little wristbands. They're to stop water running down your arms. Something I absolutely hate. Oh my gosh, I absolutely hate it. They feel really nice, but they collect the water essentially. So you've got cleanser and wristbands there. Day number 16 next door. Oh my word. Oh my, ooh, it's my favorite as well. And it's Sol de Janeiro and it's Rio Radiance. It's my favorite of the scents of all of Sol de Janeiro. We've got a few things here. Oh, they're all nice smelling things as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's four things. Things. Okay, starting off with the Rio Radiance. This is the first time I've had a big one like this. I normally have, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I normally get ones this size in beauty boxes. This is such a gorgeous smell. I got the SPF in the Rio Radiance as well and it's beautiful. There's 90 mils here. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, it's lovely. A solar scent that combines clean white florals, creamy coconut milk, and the warmth of sun on the sand. Yeah, it is beautiful. I love this. And then we've got Away. Away is a gorgeous hair brand. Well, it's hair and body, and this is a scalp and body scrub. And this is in Melrose Place. They do different scents as well. There's 30 grams here. So it's a blend of sugar and coconut oils. <sighs> so nice no it doesn't say what it melrose place is to give you an idea of what scents float my boat i love fruity florals i don't like overly sweet though i don't mind it being sweet but overly sweet ugh. i don't like strong overpowering powerful scents 
but I also love musks and vanillas. I do, <laughs> I suppose I am quite open to scents in the sense of I do like quite different ones. Yeah, I love that. And that is floral fruity. That's how I would describe that one. So you've got a body scrub there from Away. And then next we've got Armand. This is from L'Occitane and this is a body cream. It'll help your skin look hydrated while making it look firmer. There's 20 mils here. The hand cream is really nice, which is what we usually see in advent calendars. So this is a body cream. It does feel nice. It is a very subtle scent. It's not overpowering at all. So there's that. And then there's one more item. And this is from away as well. And this is the actual perfume of Melrose Place. And it tells you a little bit about it. A velvety rich rose fragrance. I hate rose, by the way. I don't like English rose scents at all but I do like other types of rose. A velvety rich rose fragrance with hints of bergamot, lychee, cedarwood and white musk. So this is a sample. So it's like one mils. This is a little mini one and a spray it. It's so nice. It is really lovely. Four items in day number 16. Day number 17. Over here. Oh, we have got Sunday Riley. This is CEO, 15% vitamin C. It's a brightening serum with 15% advanced vitamin C to rapidly tighten the appearance of the skin and boost vital skin bounce in a flash. And there is 15 mils here. I do like this one. I do have particular favorites. I love Omorovichka, if I said that right, the little capsules. I also love Medicaid as well, do amazing vitamin C. And Sunday Riley is another great brand. Right, I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna wait until I'm ready to use it. So there's that. Day number 18. Down the bottom here, we've got a big one or a long one. Oh, what is... Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I've got three products. But this, this at this size, which is 15 mils, is worth over £100. It's like £115, I'm sure. This is Bio Effect. It's EGF Serum. It's an Icelandic brand, and it is gorgeous and whenever this is in beauty boxes you'll never find one this size <laughs> because obviously it's so pricey but sometimes we've had like little five we've had five mils which is still obviously you know 30 40 pound worth of the serum but we sometimes get that in beauty boxes and yeah everyone raves about it because it is so good it sits on the skin and absorbs into skin so nicely and my skin just looks glowing it's really nice it doesn't leave it overly tacky or anything but yeah it's a bio effect egf serum buy it at this size there is a little booklet that comes with it as well it's an award-winning growth factor serum that helps prevent and target signs of skin aging including fine lines and wrinkles while boosting hydration the egf serum leaves the skin visibly firmer plumper and smoother so yeah really really happy with that and then to go with it we have got a mz skin by dr mariam zamani this is a hydro lift gold face mask lifting and hydrating hydrogel face mask and i used this recently in, i had it in a different beauty box and yeah it's a really nice mask and it's um, even better if you like pop it in the fridge so it's nice and cold and then we've got another one this is an eye mask so this is the sos revitalizing eye mask this is by decree by dr aj sternum it contains niacinamide, rose water, panthenon and caffeine. Our specialist biocellulose eye mask is enriched with our signature rose extract. Ceramides, glycerin, hyaluronic and panthenol, calming caffeine and skin brightening niacinamide. So yeah, love that. Something for your eye, something for your face and then a serum for afterwards or another time. <laughs> day number 19 oh we've got hourglass you know natasha denona is my favorite eyeshadow palette person well hourglass is my number one face powder brand i love them i absolutely love them very pricey very very pricey but i just love it i'm wearing it today i'm wearing the bronzer i'm wearing the finishing powder as well yeah really really gorgeous this is veiled so it's a translucent setting powder I've used this before. I've had I've had little minis in different beauty boxes. And I won't open it up. I just use a little brush and then I just tap on the areas of my skin that I need it, mainly my T-zone, so my forehead, underneath my eyes, and around my nose and my chin. And then I go over my face then, once I'm all finished, with an hourglass finishing powder, which has got these gorgeous light reflecting pigments that just oh, just gives you a really nice, I don't know if you can tell. 
<laughs> I am quite glowy. It's a little bit of sweat in there as well, I've got to be honest, because I'm quite hot. But um, I just love the dewy sort of glowy look that Hourglass give me. So yeah, it's a really nice brand, basically. <laughs> okay, day number 20 underneath. We have got Bioma, and this is a moisturizing rich cream. This is a triceramide complex with buccacheol, shea extract, boosted barrier, better skin. There's 50 mils here. I think I received this recently, so I've yet to use it. I've received it in a different beauty box. Maybe it's a different product from the same brand. A rich moisturizing cream formulated with our triceramide complex plus a restorative blend of buccacheal and shear extracts. Together they intensely hydrate smooth skin for bouncy dewy results and stronger skin barrier. It was a skin barrier cream. Maybe this is the right one, but it had more like information that I read about it. <gasps> Look, and as always, I put too much on there, but it doesn't matter. Oh, these hands are gonna feel amazing afterwards. <laughs> Although I'm like uh, wiping everything away. But there's obviously some of the products are gonna get seeped in there. No, unscented. A lot of the items in this calendar are unscented. It's a moisturizing, rich cream. Counting down now, day 21. Where is it? Down here. Got a candle and a hand cream. So the candle is Witchy Woo. V-Y-R-A-O. Viro. I haven't heard of this. See? Definitely a winter scent. If it was a perfume, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't wear it. It's that, it's too overpowering for me. Usually it's the really expensive perfumes. <laughs> I don't like. It's not your classic Christmas smell, but it's a nice warm wintry smell. I've just had a look online. This is like a little travel mini. I don't know if you can actually get it at this size. 170 gram candle was set about 69 pounds. So it's a pricey one. It's blended with notes of Moroccan orris, rose and frankincense to boost courage and creativity. The blue wax will really pop sitting on your coffee or bedside table. So yeah. Hopefully that'll give you more of an idea <laughs> the scent. So it's nice. I wouldn't buy it if it was a perfume, but I'd definitely burn it when the winter months. And then we've got Joe Loves. This is a hand cream. This is Joe by Joe Loves and 50 mils here. See, another item I haven't had. Try out my hand here. Oh, you can tell, can't you? You can tell when you've got moisturisers, you've got serums, body creams, hand creams. Oh, this is lovely. This is really, really, really nice. And the smell is amazing. It's got grapefruit in it. I know that. This is full size and it is worth £30. It has sparkling notes of grapefruit. I was right. Bitter orange, lime and spearmint sitting on a bed of powerful oh, guayac. Uayak wood. That is beautiful. That is so, so lovely. I would 100% go out and buy that. Yeah, I just love it. I love the fruitiness. I love oranges, grapefruit. So we've got a candle and a hand cream there. Oh my gosh. Day 22. And we've got a mask. This is why I want to do all my advent calendar unboxings and I always do them raw. I haven't had a look at the items beforehand or anything like that because I want you to see my face. So doing it like organically like this, it's just better for me. It's who I am and you get to see what I think. So obviously you, got, you saw me being really excited. Medicaid, I absolutely adore this brand. I absolutely love them. And this is a HEO mask. I haven't tried this. I've tried loads of products from their brand, but not this. This is a two-step overnight mask. There's two times 50 mils. Medicaid recommend using vitamin C and sunscreen in the morning and vitamin A at night. Okay, so it's saying I can use the retinol at night with it. So step one is a cooling blue gel that instantly replenishes skin hydration using hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and other humescents, which work to draw water molecules into the upper skin layers. Number two is a velvety cream that locks in this hydration and works over time to improve the skin's natural ability to retain water for long lasting moisturization. I have never tried these before, so this really excites me. Really, really happy with that. Day number 24, sorry, day number 22. Day number 23, over here. Oh, I do have a perfume. This is by Kiali. This is Yum Pistachio Gelato, 10 mils. Oh, oh my gosh. This is the intense version, okay. 
That is so nice. It'll go really nicely with my collection. Spray it in the air. It's pistachio. I was expecting it to be really sweet, being like ice cream. Oh, that is lovely. Pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy. See, to me, if I read that, I'd be like, oh, no, way too sweet. It's not. It is a really nice one. 24. Day number 24. Up here. Oh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Matte Beauty Blush Wand. It's an easy liquid blush. And we've got it in shade Pillow Talk Pink Pop. I've got the dupe. Is it the Revolution? I'm sure I've got a Revolution dupe. <laughs> oh, I've got to be really careful. You've got to squeeze it. If I show you. So it comes at the top. See? Lows. And I only squeeze it a little bit. And now I've got to leave it like that. Or get rid of it. So I'll just put it in my hand. Look at that colour. No, I haven't got this one. Look at the amount I've got in my hand. Oh, my God. That is a really nice colour, though. Blend it in. I tend to go for more corally blushes than pink. I'm actually wearing a Charlotte Tilbury um, cheek to cheek. Is it cheek to cheek? A cheek to cheek blush now. I can't tell you what colour it is. But now that's lovely, isn't it? Why does it look dewy? It's supposed to be matte. Maybe I didn't wipe my hands when I last used a skincare product. Maybe, I don't know. So that was our other sneak peek that we had. The last day, day number 25, which is, that's the big one, I can't miss it. Six products all together. I'll just get them all out. There's seven products and they're all for your hair. Starting off, we have got, this is Fable and Main. This is a Alma Soothing Serum for your scalp. There's 14.4 mils in there. Part dry hair, massage one full Doppler into the scalp, leave on for at least five minutes or overnight for best results. And then you rinse out and wash your hair as normal. So we've got a scalp serum. Then we've got JVN and this is Complete Nourish and Shine Drops. There's five mils. They do a really nice leave-in cream for your hair. Nourishing Shine Drops. This is a little mini there. Silky Silicone Free Oil instantly adds incredible gloss without adding weight. So there's that. Then we've got Living Proof. This is Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. It actually cleans your hair for softness and shine and there's 90 mils. Yeah, it's a great dry shampoo. I've been using this for a good couple of years now. I tend to get it in beauty boxes, which is brilliant. <laughs> so i'm always topped up with it then we got amica this is a soul food nourishing mask and a 60 mils here it's a weekly hair mask you apply it to your hair leave for five to seven minutes and then you rinse off then we've got philip kingsley this is elasticizer sicilian lemon and bergamot now fortunately my hair doesn't really like this it's not that it doesn't like it it's just that it doesn't really do anything for it loads of people swear by it loads of people love it but must be my hair <laughs> it must be my hair type it just doesn't do anything for it it's a deep conditioning treatment it's a pre-wash shampoo so you apply it to your hair before you wash it and condition it but i love the fact it's sicilian lemon and bergamot oh, maybe it'll work on my fake hair a lot better but i love the sicilian lemon and bergamot so there's that then this is ceremonia that must be the brand yeah it is ceremonia i haven't heard of this this is Guava Rescue Spray. There's 200 mils here. It's a UV and heat protective detangler. Oh, brilliant. Shake well, spray through damp hair, focusing on mid-lengths and ends, avoiding the scalp, reapply as needed, style as desired, like after a dip in the pool or swimming in the ocean. Oh, it sounds really great, doesn't it? Nope, something completely new for me. Oh my word, yeah. Oh, that's so good. That is really nice, really nice. Oh, look at the packaging inside, it's really pretty. So we got a spray for your hair and then the last item <laughs> we got some hair clips these are by cult beauty and these are little sectioning clips for your hair so when you're doing your makeup your skincare just pin your hair back out the way and it doesn't leave marks like some other clips do so yes yeah, so we've got two of them a pink and a white one 
Honestly, I love this advent calendar. I think it's a huge step up from last year. A huge factor in me thinking this is because there is so many products in there. You're talking 40 products altogether. The majority of them I haven't tried before, which is really unusual considering this is what I do. So that really excites me, which is the great thing about beauty advent calendars, isn't it? Chance for you to try products that you wouldn't necessarily go out and purchase or too expensive. Like for instance, that EGF serum from bio effect you know a hundred odd pounds <laughs> you've got it in here <laughs> i really like this one but as always i would love to hear your thoughts we are all different in what we like and what suits our skins and things like that but i would love to hear what you think of this one regardless of what you think i would just love to hear all your thoughts and opinions so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video take care <laughs> bye